Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part two of my How to Lay Out a Website tutorial. We're going to continue from part one, of course. That's why it's part two. If you haven't seen part one, watch part one. It's right here. Otherwise, you might be confused. And this is what we got done in part one right here. We got the top bar and the menu and fonts and a whole bunch of other different things. And here is our, our ultimate goal. This is what we are going to make. And in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to focus in and create this left sidebar. There actually is a couple little tricks going on inside of this guy and I'm doing this completely out of my head I'm not I don't have anything prepared this is just a picture and in this tutorial I'm gonna make this picture one thing that I know is this isn't a left sidebar so I'm going to have to separate it from everything else so right after the menu part I'm gonna create a new div and I'm gonna give it an ID that is equal to content wrapper and just like always I'm gonna close the div off and content wrapper is actually going to be this background here, this purple. I can just come in here and call this content wrapper. And we're going to make another div for this box and another div for all these other different things because I like using divs. Now for content wrapper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here inside of the style area. And remember content wrapper is an ID. So I'm going to call it content wrapper. Curly brace, close the curly brace. And because I have no idea what I'm doing here, I do know this background color is 47. 1F37. And I know that I want to float it to the left side of the screen. And that's all that means. Float left means throw everything to the left side of the screen. Pretty much don't allow a margin there. So scroll back down to the bottom of the screen and jump into content wrapper. And we have to create our left sidebar. So I'm going to go div and there's only going to be one sidebar. So it's an ID. And then I'm going to close off that guy, put in a comment. And then inside of here, this is going to be another div and this is going to be called left container. I'm just going to jump in here and actually create that. So there's div and there's going to be three left containers. So it's a class instead of an ID. If you're not understanding anything I'm saying, leave a comment below and I'll figure it out. Left container. And if you can't see this, you can watch this in full screen because it's an HD video. And all the code, all this HTML is underneath this video. Just click the link and you can get it. Now the first thing I need to do is create this who we are that you see here on the screen. So what I'm going to do, take a wild guess, I'm going to create a div and there's more than one of these. There's one there, there's one there. So what's that mean? That means I'm going to make it a class and I'm going to call it banner title. I'm going to give it an H4 tag just for the heck of it because I normally do that. And if it's not the right size, well, I'll change that later. H4, I'm going to close the div. Then what do I have to do? Well, I have to put this picture in here plus I have to put all this text inside of here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to create a paragraph tag class is equal to sidebar excerpt and I gotta put this image inside of here that's right up there right there so I'm gonna go image source is equal to and I'm gonna point at the location which I know is images forward slash Cindy dot ping and I always give alt text because it's good to do that and I'm just gonna put Cindy inside of there just for something and I do know the width of this image is 73 pixels and I know the height is equal to 73 pixels and I'm going to give it an ID equal to Cindy and then to make this HTML strict make sure you close that off and then I know that I'm going to have to put some breaks underneath of this guy and throw a break inside of there then I'm going to jump over and get some lorem ipsum I always have this saved over here so jump back into this page and throw some lorem ipsum text inside of there and now there's some breaks and things like that so for that I'm going to copy this I'm just going to eyeball this just for now. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm just going to close off this paragraph tag. Reload. And you can see that now the content area is showing up here on the screen. I'm actually going to zoom in on this. But there's no background colors and this isn't being placed right. And the excerpt's not being placed right. So i got to fix all that up. So where am I going to fix that up? In the CSS code. So come up here under content wrapper. And then we'll start eyeballing things and see how good we can get everything lined up. First thing I want to do is left sidebar, which surrounds everything here. I want to float it to the left. Just type in float left. And as far as I know, I think that's all I'm going to need to do with that. Then I have left container, and this is a class because we have multiple ones of those, and that's why there's a period in front of that instead of a hash. Now with left container, I know I want my background color to be white, and I'm going to have to look at the other thing to remember what I'm trying to draw here. All right, so I know that's white. Um, border, because uh, there's a border, you probably can't see it here. I'm going to guess that's about three pixels. Solid, and it's definitely black. Now it has a border. Margin, I'm guessing, again, eyeballing. 10 pixels. Margin on the right over here, I'm guessing about 3 pixels. And if you want to 
to define the margin on the right only. This will just override the margins on the right side for this little container inside here. And width, I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to take a wild guess, uh, 175 pixels. And height, again, I have no idea. Let's say 275 pixels. And padding, I'm normally doing two pixels. Let's see what happens when I do that. Reload it. It doesn't look too bad, except it's falling out of the bottom of the screen, which is not good. So I'm going to have to fix that, and I'm going to fix that really by moving these things around and moving these things around, getting all the images in here right. Left container itself didn't look too shabby, though. All right, so banner title is the who we are part. Banner title. So I'm going to move that div around, and I know I want to make it pretty much the same sort of font as I used before. So let's just grab that font from up here, paste that in there. I'm guessing the line height's going to be a little bit different, though. Background color. Well, it's going to be that same purple that we have in our background here. So I'm just going to grab this guy up here, get rid of the extra color, paste that in there. The color of the text is white. There's white text. The width, again, I have no idea. Let's say 90 pixels. And the height, let's say 20 pixels. Text align, it's definitely aligned to the right side of the screen. So I'm going to make it align right inside of that div. Padding right, I'm guessing, might need something. Eh, let's just leave that blank for now. Position is definitely going to be relative, which means I'm going to move it around relative to where it is. So let's go back in here and actually look at where it is. All right, it's down here. So I have to move it to the right, and I have to definitely move it up. And I'm going to guess from the left side of the screen that it needs to move over, I don't know, 70 pixels. And from I want to move it up, let's say 20 pixels. And let's see how accurate I am. Oh, that's not accurate at all. Okay, so I gotta move it up a little bit more. I'm gonna make the left container just a little bit bigger. The width of this who we are part, I'm gonna take that up to 96 pixels. I'm gonna increase the height on it also a little bit. Let's move it farther over from the left side of the screen. And of course, this is gonna have to be a negative. Yep, we're getting kind of close here. Now, the E's butting up next to that. So one way we can fix that is to add a little bit of padding. So let's just go padding dash right. And let's give it, I don't know, six pixels because it seems like I'm happy with six pixels. Yep, yep. All right, so now we just gotta move it up slightly. So let's change this to 21 and see if we're getting there. And we are, that's perfect. So I got that perfectly aligned up in the upper right-hand corner, exactly where I want it. So now I gotta move this picture of Cindy around here a little bit. That was an ID, and the ID's name is Cindy. So again, I wanna float it left. Just throws it to the left side of whatever's containing it. And then I gotta start adding some padding to this. Padding to the right, let's say four pixels. Bottom, I'm just guessing. Top, you know, I'll just be fancy, I'll put five in there. Padding left, let's say two pixels because I already have a little bit of padding. And let's jump over into sidebar excerpt, which is all this text and everything here including the image, and play around with that a little bit. And I want to position it relative to where it is now. And from the left, we definitely don't want to move it. So let's just leave it at zero. And then from the top, I definitely want to move it up. So let's say negative 60 pixels and see where it ends up. Color of the text, I decided this is going to be a gray. And the font size looks like it's off a little bit. Yeah, spelled position wrong. Oop, that's looking pretty good. It's button up into this a little bit, though. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. I think what would actually work better is to throw another break statement into this and then leave the sidebar excerpt pretty much exactly the way it is here. Down here to the text area. And then right after this, copy. Throw in another break statement. I'll say reload. There we are. That's pretty much perfect. I could take a little bit off of this sidebar. Pretty much everything lines up real nice inside of there. Looking pretty good. All right, so now we need to go and start adding the featured content part of it, which is this right here. And we're going to be doing kind of the same sort of things. Let's scroll down and create what we need here first. Right after end of left container, we're going to create another div. And this one is going to be called featured because these are going to be featured posts. End of featured. And I'm going to create another div. This is going to be for the banner. It's equal to banner title. It's listed as videos on the screen. And then I'm going to leave this as an H4 because the last one worked, except this is going to say videos. Close off that H4 tag, close off that div. And then I'm going to create a, another div. And its class is going to be equal to each article. So this div is going to surround each one of these little brackets here where it says Facebook marketing and then a little bit of information. So I'm going to create another div and I'm going to call it article title and I'm going to bold it because it's bolded there. And I'm just going to type in what it says here and then close that div. 
And then I have to actually put the article part in. And I'm going to put this in a paragraph tag. Class is going to be equal to article excerpt because that's what it is. And let's just grab some of this lorem ipsum stuff up here. Copy, paste that in there. And then, of course, it's going to have the ability for the person to click to read more. I don't know why that wasn't in the image. That's definitely something I want to add. Each reference is equal to, and for now I'm just going to leave this as a hash symbol, which means if it's clicked on, it's not going to do anything, but it's still going to act like it is a link. Click for more. And I'm going to give it the word more inside of there. I'm going to close that off and then close the paragraph tag off. And then I need to put in a horizontal rule. Well, I like to use a div and use it as a horizontal rule because it gives me more control over exactly how big it is and things like that. So I'm just going to type in H-O-R-Z rule and I'm going to completely define the way the horizontal rule works. Close off that div and then I need to close off the div for each article. End of each article. And if we file save that and reload it, you can see what it's doing. It's all messed up like the other one. That's because there's no styling. Don't worry about it. So we're back up into the styling area. We're going to create all this. Now the first thing I'm going to style is the div that surrounds everything and that is called featured. And I'm going to give it a background color of white, just like we did before. Actually, a lot of this is going to be the same. Border is going to be three pixels and it's going to be solid and it's going to be black. I'm going to give it a margin of 10 pixels of three pixels. Width, what did we figure out? It was 177, right? Basically, I'm copying everything from this guy right here. So 177, height, padding, let's just copy it. There we go. This height is obviously going to be different because it's going to be bigger, but pretty much everything else is going to be about the same. And if we file save it, reload it. There, look at that. It's already coming together. We're definitely going to have to make some height changes, though, but that's the big deal. Each article surrounds is a div that surrounds all of this content, so we're going to make a couple changes to that. Each article... Position it relative, and it's definitely going to have to go up. So let's say uh, top, and let's just go negative 18. Don't know. I'll save it, reload it. All right, so it's moved up pretty good. That looks pretty good. I might leave it there. All right, then article excerpt is this guy. So if I move Facebook's marketing up, I got to move that up also. So article excerpt, and I'm going to change it to the same gray that I use here. I'm just going to copy that gray, copy, so that everything looks about the same. Font size, I'm going to change it to 10 points because the last one was 10 points. And position it relative. And let's move it up. Uh, what happens if we move it up 18? Yeah, it's a little bit too close. How about we take it down some? I thought that would look nice, but I guess not. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we got that laid out. So now what do we got to do? We got to create our horizontal rule. And I'm going to make my background color 471 f 37, which is a wiki color. If you want to see all of these different things together, you can go to wiki web colors and it shows you a gazillion colors with all this information. It's kind of cool. And then my height, I always do this the same. Two pixels and my width, I made this what, 177, so I'm going to make this 170 pixels. Margin left, I'm going to make that three pixels so that it's kind of centered and position it. I know I'm going to have to do this. Relative, but I don't know how much because I haven't seen it on screen yet. So let's reload it and it's down here. Let's just see if we take it negative 10 like we did with the excerpt. File save, reload. All right, good, good, good. And then basically we have to create a couple more of these. So I'm going to come over to this guy. I'm going to go to featured because I'm going to have to make this div bigger and how high I have no idea. Let's say it is 371. All right, so we just add another 100 pixels. And then I basically just have to copy this code right here. Let's pull up my image. So I got one, two, three, four of those inside of there. And the div that surrounds all these different guys is called each article. So basically, I just start down here where it ends, each article ends. And then I jump up here to where it is. And I go copy, paste, and there's three of them. File save, reload, pretty sharp. Except I don't want this last horizontal roll. So what do I do? Just delete it. Cool. All right, and then this is too big, this div that makes up the whole entire thing. File save, reload it. Yeah, too much space down here. So let's shrink that. How do we do that? Jump back up into Featured, and let's say instead of 371, we knock it down to 350. Reload it, and that's just about perfect. All right, so we have everything laid out here. So now I just need to make two of these guys. See, there's one there, and there's one here. The only difference between them is articles, and this one says videos. So fine, we're going to scroll down, and this whole entire thing is called Featured. So what do I got to do? I'm going to come to where it says End of Featured with that div. See, this is how it helps when you put all these comments in. And I just scroll up until I find the beginning of Featured. So there's that guy, and 
let's say I want to put in first, do it all in caps, first featured sidebar. And then all I do is jump underneath of end of feature, and here I'm going to put another comment, second featured sidebar, and this one's going to be called articles. And then I'm going to come like this, paste that in there, file save it, and reload. And there you can see those. The only problem is this doesn't say articles like the other one did. No problem. Scroll up here to where it says videos, articles, file save, reload, and there you go. And that's how you do the styling for the sidebar. Looks pretty nice. And if we zoom out, you can really definitely see here that this is starting to pull together. And what we have in this image is terribly close to the original design that we were working from. We scroll that guy right there. See? Look very, 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 very similar. And in the next video, I'm going to create this whole entire center part, and I'm also going to create this right sidebar. Leave any questions or comments below. All of the code is underneath the video if you want to look at this HTML and CSS code. Till next time.